So published this week, uh, researchers at the University of Michigan have found that when pollen gets wet, it ruptures very easily and makes a lot of smaller particles that, if carried up upwards, can act as cloud condensation nuclei, thereby helping form clouds and then possibly rain. So there may be a deeper like feedback cycle than we've ever imagined between plants, flowers, trees, anything that, poly- that creates pollen and rain and the actual climate and weather. And I have firsthand knowledge of that this year where I am here. The eucalyptus trees in my general area did not uh, release their pollen. They, they didn't bloom this year, and I have a couple neem trees around here. They didn't, they didn't bloom either, and it was one of the most driest summers, spring, summer, and fall. It's been almost drought-like down here. It's hardly rained ever. Maybe like five days of rain in the last four months. But when it has rained, it's rained like five to ten inches each time. But then. Again, stretches of like four, five, six weeks at a time with no rain and none of the pollinating, pollen producing trees or, yeah, the tr- the flowers have been around, but not really the trees. They haven't released their spores. So now I don't know if because they didn't release their spores, it hasn't rained or if they knew it wasn't going to rain so they didn't release their spores. Does that make sense? I don't know what it is. I don't know what causes what. You know, the trees might sense that there's, you know, liquid in the upper atmosphere that could precipitate, and then thereby they release the pollen to form the clouds to rain, or it may just be completely independent, and they just release their pollen, and then if, the conditions are right, then it'll rain. I don't know. I don't know which one it is, but all I know is that it's been very dry this for the last couple months, four or five months, really, and none of the trees during the season release their pollen. So weird. I was thinking about that the other day, how I hadn't seen any pollen on these, on because I have like buckets of water outside and they normally are covered in the spring, spring, summer and fall. And there was nothing this year. And I just put it together when I saw the story about how dry it's been down here. So, very interesting. Nature's great. It's so much more complicated and and interdependent than we even know. And we're starting to figure this stuff out now. Man. <laughs> it sucks that civilization's about to collapse and all this knowledge is going to be lost because we're just finally starting to re-figure this stuff out. <laughs>